FraudNet, the world's leading asset recovery legal network, has amassed a winning track record. Here, Stephen Baker, senior partner in Baker & Partners in Jersey Channel Island and a FraudNet member, discusses two of the network's success stories. We were looking at assets largely in Jersey by a man called Paolo Malouf. He was mayor of Sao Paulo. He was notoriously corrupt, and he stole money from a motorway contract, which the people of Sao Paulo had awarded to a massive engineering firm. And he extracted millions and millions and millions of US dollars from that contract. He used some unlicensed money changes to move the money from Brazil to New York, where the money ended up in a bank account in Safra Bank. From there, the money crossed the Atlantic and came to Jersey, where it was secreted through two British Virgin Islands company, which held bank accounts. Then they funneled money into a very complicated structure of unit trusts, and those unit trusts invested money back into Brazil. He was stealing from the taxpayer of Brazil. We got disclosure orders against the BVI companies, against the Jersey Bank in Jersey. So they had to hand over all the documents. Information was passed on to the New York criminal authorities, and they came down hard on uh, the bank. The authorities have charged Paolo Malouf and his son Flavio with money laundering. There are still red notices extant in New York or through Interpol for their arrest. So the Maloufs are stuck in Brazil. They've also recovered a substantial amount of the assets. And we continue now to this day to track down the assets and we'll be chasing Mr. Maloof until he pays the rest. Nigeria has got some really bad corrupt people in it. And the Abacha family were amongst them. I had the great fortune to be part of a team to recover assets on behalf of Nigeria, one of the most successful asset recovery actions in history. Some two billion US dollars odd has been recovered on behalf of the Nigerian state. And we expect another $500 million plus, close to three quarters of a billion dollars went back from Switzerland. Over 300 billion has gone back from Jersey and tens of millions from other countries, including Germany, Liechtenstein, and Luxembourg. ICC FraudNet is recognized as a leading law firm network, and its lawyers are ranked by these legal directories.